today now I confirm shame witches and wizards they don't know their picking they don't know their mama and they don't know their papa if you be woman be for this earth your mama and witch or your papa and witch be careful for them because according to what we hear they say where the thing hook them they don't know they are picking they are ready to do anything i'm telling you guys they are ready to do anything they don't know who be their picking again they don't know who be their mama again they don't know who be their papa again now you you don't know not to know now. You 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 the verse where it became. It is quarter for a matter every day. He say it became take his position. It's not doing competition with his own son. Hey God, God help us so. Not give us bad papa. Oh. You can't do competition with your own son, my people. You can't begin to plan evil to his own son. Is that not wicked? That is sure, pure wickedness, my people. I never see that country before for my life. This thing pay me, eh? This thing pay me when I hear him. Obi is a boy who want to buy his son. He want to paralyze your son because of property. You know why they do this one? He said because you do a quiz so don't bought you for him. So, uh, Crystal Bay don't bought for him. He get he get you the plenty. So he not care about the one we may born for him. Now I make all this man, they get plenty, plenty children. All this man, we get plenty, plenty children. Notice them. If care is not taken, you go see the day, cutty, cutty. They go to delay the children one after the other. After all, they got plenty. They go either they get money, they day for most. Because they have plenty. All this men will get plenty, plenty to the watch. You go see say one or two pick it up by for the hand. Obi is a boy who wants to go and do a meeting with his father. Concerning his own son. No. Because of property. And you say you want to go and teach your son a lesson. You want to teach your son a lesson that will never forget in a hurry. I say, really? So people are this wicked. Before we go ahead, this but I greet and I salute all of you according to your time and location. You are all welcome back to our Facebook and our YouTube. If you never subscribe, quickly hit that smash button when you say subscribe. If you don't subscribe already, I say thank you. But by God, we do forever go bless you for me. Don't forget, put on your notification bell always. So that anytime when I put any program, you know, the very first week, see Share, like this video, guys. Toss up the video, toss up the video. My people, as me and you they talk so, they so busy they bought four for native daughter place. They don't rush and come out because he say he picking take his position and he will not take it. That is going to revenge and fight back. For his son taking over his position. He had to work with to call carry his son name. Your own picking, your second boy for that matter. To native daughter. And your father said, according to what you hear allegedly, teach him a lesson. He and his mama. The lesson they will never forget in the hurry. Teach them. True, true. You request who said, teach him a lesson. 
and you carry your picking picture to Lady Daughter to teach your picking a lesson. Who does that? Who does that? My country people, why are they? There is problem and there is trouble. This battle is not ending anytime soon. Because the way Quest wants to cripple me and her children. And she wants to collect all the property. And if she never collects them, she says she will never rest. Until she collects everything. Say she will collect everything before she go rest. My people, there is big problem. You carry your own son. You see, they surprise me. Name. Picking what you bought for this life. Everybody, they pray me that picking past them. You're picking an ND. And you want to go and. I don't know. Make a lot of it. I don't know. I don't know what they say. Won't go do the picking. So when they reach there, they begin to recast. They provoke. They sing. According to what me I hear, he want his son to the sick, so that no go feel they go the training, cause they say the training are for two weeks. So I go say not they interested. Kwame will be frustrated. All this is what they do, not to frustrate Kwame no. He they punish his son to frustrate the mother. Because they said if you strong, your children not strong. So he's frustrating the, the children to frustrate their mother. So now what did they do with that? So this punishment when he won't give it picky. It's not directly given to his son, according to his mind. He's doing Queen May. So that Queen May will suck. He wants to burn Queen May. He wants to burn May. That is his plan. But he fail once again. The pit won't have a dig for me. Now I will fall inside. Listen, no. The man give a mirror. Say, make it call the picking name seven times. Then make it hit him. Then the boy will be sick. Make the carry him up and down. True, true. He carried the name go. Where in the call the name in your face, in your no, he called the first one, call the second one, call the third one, call the fifth one, he called the sixth one, the seventh one. The boy name supposed to come out. So the boy name did not come out, he won't come out. As you come out, now he shook him for his head. He triggered his own head. His own head begins to shake. His own head begins to shake as usual. He couldn't take it anymore. There's any time where that head is shake, they get a headache. Now it collapsed. The juju backfired against him. The do request to call the papa. Papa said, Make you not worry, make carry and go hospital. They can't carry and come up for their go hospital. The juju now backfired against him. They won't talk, they say, Men and winch. Anything they go do, say, Now in winch. Now they do, and make people not get back to them. But before we go, go. I want to make you and listen to this testimony. Make you see, say, fathers, they cry their fathers. They cry their children. Not be today, it starts. Listen to this story. And please try to share this video. It's very, very important. Share this video and leave your comment for comment station. Hello, good morning, ma. Hi, Ada. Good morning, ma. How is London and how is the family, ma? I is work and everything, man. God bless you, man. Our Lord in heaven will continue to 
be with you and your family and keep Amen. your family safe and prosper you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Auntie Adama, this morning I just, in fact, I was just laughing when I was listening to the update, that word of the update you released to us about a tree. You see, Auntie Adama, all these things we watch in Hollywood, which uh, grandfather, they are the first in Hollywood. It happens. It's real. But you know, people do not believe. Some people never believe that they are spiritual. Their spiritual things does exist. And that is the foolishness in the highest order. Because why? Come to think of it. Who is God? God is a spirit. Who is Satan? Satan is a spirit. So now, if these two forces that are contending on earth are both spirit, are both spirit. So how do we think that, uh, how can someone not think that spiritual does not exist? Because God is a spirit. That is why the Bible says God is a spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Because he's a spirit. Satan as well is a spirit. Who is Satan? Satan is once God's angel that misbehaved, that has even a selfish heart, greedy heart. And those things are not in God. And God decided to cast him out of his kingdom. And he decided to come to the earth to be the prince of the earth. So devil is a spirit, God is a spirit. And the two powers are contending. I don't say devil does not have power. He has the power because he's a spirit. He was an angel before God cast him away. But the truth of the matter is that all power has been given to our Lord Jesus Christ for him coming to die for us on the cross of Calvary. That is why the Bible said that the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Mami Watao, Okotio, Wichiso, anything evil must tremble before Jesus. So until that spiritual, he, he exists, he happens on earth. But people, because they are here to come to Jesus, to surrender their hearts, their life to him, so that Jesus will put them through and open their eyes. Concerning the three people are talking about, I've experienced it. Before I had my first son, uh, my, my first child, my son Elisha, I need to take a pastor to my father's house in Delta State. I'm from Delta, I'm a Delta woman, typical Delta woman. I'm from Mundakwa, Delta Igbo. You see, our people believe that Omen and Abure Gomo, Omen and Izi Gomo, that is the truth. Oh, man, and is a big gummo. That is the life uh, grandfather is living. I will go to church and go see oh Lido. No, you are from the devil. You can't serve two masters. You can't. God is jealous. Satan too does not want to be shared. So Omen and is a gummo. But they thought that Omen and Abre Gummo. That is a big lie from the pit of hell. Omen and is a gummo. Because what is a more? More is idols. You can't hold Jesus, you hold idol. You go to church eating holy communion, the body of the the body of the, 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 the body of Christ. You are eating condemnation to yourself according to the scripture. So men and is ego My late father is an idol worshiper. Big one, he still belongs to all the society as well. But you see, he has an idol in his room. He has an idol in his room. So I, we never knew because that is what we are brought out. We are brought out from. So we didn't know who is Jesus, who is God. Until we grow, we became youth and adult. Grace he found us, mercy found us. Now we are children of God we are today. But do you know until that, that in my father's compound, my late father's compound, there was a tree there. Then when I was young, my late father used to worship that tree every morning. When he wake up in the morning, you will see him with a cola nut, with Sima Shinapi. We go there, my father's blah, blah, blah. We do some incantation there. Do you know that when I gave my life to Jesus, it was then God opened my eyes that that tree is where my leg was buried. As I'm speaking to you, the enemies planted poison in my leg for the past 20 something years. I got married with it and I gave back to my three children with it. But do you know that when I got married, I couldn't conceive pregnancy for a good two years. No sign of pregnancy because whenever I am in my ovulation, the pain of the leg will arise and I will start menstruating again. Ovulation will pass. Until God connected me with a man of God, 
Ghana have not started regime. He's a one man's church. He's just a young man, but he's a, he's, he's a truly man of God. We went to my father's compound. In my late father's compound, I mean, in Delta State. We did five hours prayers and vigil there. At the end of the day, we cut that that tree. As we are praying, the pastor said, because God revealed to me that my leg was buried in that tree when I gave my life to Jesus, that my leg was buried under that tree. I had a dream. I entered my father's compound. Immediately, I spoke a word. The tree shakes. The tree began to shake. As it was shaking, a pot began to pull out under the tree. When I moved closer to the tree to see what, what was there in that pot that came out under the tree, only for me to find out that my left leg, that they afflicted uh, the fantasies with, the pot was boiling, my leg was in that uh, tree. I was shouting, this is my leg, this is where my leg is, who buried my leg here? My stepsister now said, uh, Ngozi, it is Mama. Ngozi, is Mama that said that is where your leg will be. To cut the long story short, I had that revelation three times. So when I told the pastor that this is the dream I had about my health challenge, my leg problem, he now said he will pray. When he finished praying, he told me that God said he should follow me to my father's house. We went to my father's house on the 10th of May, 2010, 2010. A dad will never forget. And said, Dad, do you know that when we got to my father's compound, it was a tug of war. But because the Lord had already gone ahead of us, we prayed, we did the vision, we cut the tree down. And said, Dad, do you know that when I came back a week in Taba, I conceived my son. When I was pregnant of my son, the pain of the leg was so strong that he was trying to flush the boy away. But power passes power. Amen. There is powers, yes, Amen. we know. But when these powers come to Jesus, to mm. contend with Jesus, to challenge the power of Christ, Jesus will show them that, yes, is the resurrection Amen. of life. Amen. So at the end of the day, I conceived. I carried my baby nine months. I gave back to my baby. Do you know when I called my late father, then he was still alive, Papa Dunbon, my father, my late father said to me, my daughter Ngozi, come, who believe, how did you do it? Who believe you can conceive pregnancy? How much more to give back to a child? Not I said, Papa, it is Jesus. Oh. I have met with Christ. All power belongs to him. The following year, 2012, God blesses me with my first daughter. I called him again. My late father repeated the same thing. Who believe I can conceive pregnant? Because why? That is what he believes. That is what he know. But until you walk out, that's why you never walk out, you know, go no. Now, wait till where you are carriage, now you go know what he did there. Because these men, they believe all these are fathers. They so much believe in idols. And they didn't know how those will lead them to do evil, even that will even hurt them. That is why the, the, the word says, the, he said, the Bible said, the, the evil that men do lives with them. You can't serve idols, you serve Jesus at the same time. You must choose one. But I tell people, if you decided to serve idols, get ready sooner or later, the calamity will be for you. Because why? When the, 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 the trouble will come, you will bear the consequence. Because the devil did not come and give anything good. His mission is to steal, kill, and destroy. It. That is why Jesus wants every soul to come to him. But some people believe, no, we want to be in charge, we want to control. That is what that man is doing. So, Auntie Ada, I didn't mean I have a way to talk with me one on one. I should have speak with her long ago to tell her one or two things. Nothing. Yes, we know charm day. But when it comes to Jesus, charm must mellow down. Charm must bow. So I tell her, help me to talk with me. If you can reach out to her for me today. We have just 24, uh, 48 hours to go to round up this August. God is about to fight to finish for us for her and for me and for all his children that are facing through through challenges like this tell her to rise up in her spirit yes they pray for us it's good for people to be praying for you but you see when it comes to that this is your destiny this is your crown nobody will do it you will stand and you can only stand and win with jesus 
tell her to leave everything that he's doing for now. She should lock herself inside the room. She should begin to cry to her God. She should begin to invite the hosts of heaven. And they will tell her the next step and the next way forward. If she can pray, the way her strength, where her strength can carry her. If she can go marathon, she has been doing it, I've been doing it, but no prayer is a waste. Because right now, what we are doing is for our children, for our children to have everlasting joy, for our children to have successful journey and successful landing. Because these three children here, she has three children now. My children are three. So like I said before, that my destiny is similar to her, to her destiny. So Auntie Ada, help me to tell her, this is the day. This is not time to go to court or go to... This is the time because God is the chief judge. Psalm 94, verse 1, the Bible said, Oh Lord God of vengeance, to whom vengeance belongeth. Oh God, no. to whom vengeance belongeth. Show yourself... Tell her to go through the word of God. And he should cry to God. God will rise. And God will deal with that man. Nobody, until that her father-in-law goes down. If not, he will not have peace. And for Judy Austin, that one came from the married world. Because they, they ask, we will go there. We will go so that we will bring her down. Because she came for Queen May. Tell her if she's ready. Heaven are ready to help her, to bring, to send Judy Austin wherever she came from. Because God has already won this battle for her. Because no power can win the power of Jesus. Because she's innocent. She did no harm to them. And when you are innocent, heaven is ready to defend you, to fight for you. But you must communicate them. And we communicate heaven through prayers, through fasting, through the word of God. So help me to tell her. And tell her she should not be afraid again. That is always she should be on her feet with prayer, with anointing oil. Anyone they bring, let her use anointing oil, pour on them. And in the fire of God will be burning them. As they refuse to repent, they will see what they are looking for. Thank you so much, Antada. God bless you, man. Bye-bye, man. Have a nice day, man.